The prison island of Australia is now keeping its inmates in check by having thought police pay home visits to people who they suspect might be planning to attend a protest. Attend a protest? Oh my god, the absolute horror. Um, um okay, what we're here for is obviously just in relation to the recent protests that are popping up and whatnot and actually okay. just here to do welfare checks and whatnot. You're planning on going in? I didn't know there's anything going. No? No. Any planned protests that you, you may know of? Not as, not as far as I know. Yeah, it's, it's a complete surprise when you just, the, the cops here. I'm like, fuck, fuck. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, no stress, just, just a friendly chat, that's all. Um, just a friendly chat. Because it's perfectly normal in a free country to have three cops show up on your doorstep because they think you might be thinking about criticising the government. Totally not like North Korea or anything. So are you aware of any planned protests or events? No. That are coming up, Jess? Nope. No? Okay. Are you aware of any communication circling around between people about the plan pro any protests coming up? No. No? Do you use any platform at all or to communicate? No. So now it's not even if you're going to a protest, it's whether you dared think about mentioning one on social media. Have you gone to any protests in the past? No, I'm not going to answer that. You haven't? <laughs> <laughs> you guys wouldn't be here otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'd like to know how you got this address actually. Okay. Um, anything <laughs> else you uh, like to uh, tell us that might help with ensure the public safety? They're just keeping people safe. Like when they pepper spray old women in the face or fire rubber bullets at protesters. It's for your safety. As long as you guys aren't running around shooting people with rubber bullets like down in Victoria, we're all good. <laughs> yeah, that's also another reason why like they're concerned with what's happening down in Victoria that it doesn't then escalate and come up. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, just making sure your safety, our safety, everyone else's yeah, safety. Yeah. Everyone's so safe! So long as the thought police ensure everyone stays home and doesn't even dare to think about talking about a protest, everyone's gonna be so safe. Don't start up a conversation. Don't forget, they actually passed legislation where people who even post about protests on social media can face fines of up to $11,000. They send cops around to the homes of pregnant women and arrest them in front of their kids if they dared talk about a protest on Facebook. Australia has fallen. It can no longer claim to be a democratic country. And this should be an international outrage. Meanwhile, jackbooted thugs doled out more police brutality to construction workers demonstrating in Melbourne. And if I showed you what they did, this video would get age restricted or banned, so check it out in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for regular updates. To get exclusive content, early access, behind the scenes stuff, and to personally interact with me, please sign up for my community at pauljosephwatson.locals.com. Link in description, and thank you for your generous support.